Lauren's R Us, where you can buy your own. Lauren, I don't know what I'm doing. I've had really bad luck this morning. And now the lighting is bad. Hold on. Oh, hello there, that's better. Welcome to my vlog. I haven't done this in years, and I haven't really ever done it, I don't think, on the main channel. Because I'm terrible at it. So I thought it would be fun, fun for me, to attempt to do it for 24 hours today, because I have an exciting day today. It's gonna be a mix of not a normal day, and then ending with a normal day. I feel like they were judging me. So, like I was, er, professional vlogger. I wish I vlogged more. I want more memories. And I'd also like to connect with you guys a little easier, but I forget all the time. Forget to pick up the camera. So today that's my challenge is to pick up the camera as much as possible. And I have to get on the road so that I'm not late to my first exciting thing that you will find out about when I get there. But yeah, I had to wake up early today to go into the city for something very cool that you're about to see. But the bad luck began at 5.30 in the morning when we had a monsoon not over exaggerating, so much rain. The rain was incredibly loud, so much wind. And at 5.30, it woke up the baby because the whole house just like made this loud creaking sound as it, you know, tried not to fall down from the wind. Luckily, she went back to sleep. I did not, which was fine because then she woke up again at 6 and 6.30. Now you're probably like, Lauren, she's a baby. She does that. No, she hasn't been doing that. She's been sleeping through the night for weeks now. And then the one day I have to wake up really early and do something important, the world decides that it's going to throw me a challenge. <laughs> I also couldn't fall asleep last night for a while because I was anxious slash very excited slash nervous for today. So yeah, that's why you didn't get to see my morning. I'm already off to a really good start today vlogging. Also, my order is wrong and it's cold. Yay. I want a day kale and mushroom egg bite. I got a sausage one. Today is gonna be great. It's gonna be okay. All the bad luck is just getting, all the bad juju energy is just getting out this morning and everything's gonna be great once I get there. I better leave because with my luck this morning, I'm gonna hit a bunch of traffic or something. I got a triple this morning. Okay, I literally pulled over because I can't believe this. It said on here, sausage, egg, and cheddar. I was not excited about the sausage one, especially because I'm trying to lose weight, but Instead, I got um, an egg white turkey bacon sandwich, which I'm not complaining about. That's like my second favorite thing to get, but where's the bread on the bottom? It's not in the bag. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat this while I'm driving? <sighs> so, I mean, silver lining, it's something that I like and it's not as unhealthy, but it's cold and I can't, there's no bread on the bottom to hold it. I don't know how to feel about this. Is it good or bad? All right, I gotta go. Okay. Nobody's around. Of course I pick vlogging day to be in New York City when there's people everywhere and I feel really uncomfortable filming. But uh, the offices that I'm going to are right over here, so that's bad. So yeah, I got invited to Forbes to talk about my business that I built via YouTube. Forbes. The full interview is linked in the description. Please go watch it. I talked with Moira Forbes, who was absolutely lovely. But yeah, uh, I'm still processing and don't feel like it's real. The fact that I got to talk about my business at Forbes, and not in a way that I feel like I don't deserve it because I know I have worked really hard and also spend so much of my time learning how to grow and be successful in this space. But more in the fact that I can't believe how successful the channel has become over the years to where other people want to learn more about me and how I got there and any advice I might have. It's amazing and one of the coolest things I've done for sure. But back to the vlog and the behind the scenes of me going to do that. I can't tell if the lighting is nice or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, is this good? like it looks nice, but then at the same time on my camera, I'm like... Yeah, it's like set for these. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not not set for my my little camera. <laughs> so we just wrapped up the Forbes interview, which I can't wait for you guys to see. Actually, it's linked in the description below. You can see it right now because I'm gonna wait to post this when it goes live. But yeah, we are in the studio. That's what I woke up super early to come do. If you want to hear my YouTube advice or just life advice or just learn about me, then you should go watch the interview because it was really fun. And I'm getting B-roll shot. <laughs>
<laughs> you guys get behind the scenes of what I'm actually talking about in the B-roll. From Moira, would you like to say hi? I feel like the lighting is not flattering. When you were saying, oh God, oh, this is <laughs> this is not good lighting. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Hello. We just sat down and had a great conversation with someone who is amazing, who oh. shared a lot of great insights, so we feel very lucky. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I say, do you play any games? I don't play games. I want to play a game, I just don't know what to play. I, I feel like sometimes things like require too much brain power that I don't have hmm. anymore. Like my brain between the kids and work. Gets when people are like playing some of the word games, which I don't, I'm also- Oh like, yeah, are you into I'm, Wordle? I'm, yeah, the word. No, because also I'm like, I don't like my, I'm, I, I don't have the bandwidth. I just want to, you know what it is? I want to escape. And like you can play in two minutes or in an Uber. Oh, hmm. Yeah, if someone has that, I'll be yeah, very get, grateful. Yeah, <laughs> leave comments below. I will, I, will I will let Moira know. What was your favorite part? Of, of today. Of today? Getting to come to the Forbes offices, or not offices, but studio space, is actually really cool. It's like, a, something I never thought I'd get to do, and because I make videos on the internet for you guys, with she, such great quality like this. <laughs> she's built a huge business making videos on the internet. That's why she's here. You represent, oh. like, you know, this this really interesting I feel like on entrepreneurs. Yeah, I feel like it's, I feel like when people build businesses, like, that's their main goal, is they want to build a business. They have such a different mindset, because I my main goal was like to make videos and have a community. When people are like, you're doing really good. Like you have a huge business. Like things are going great for you. I'm just like, no, <laughs> like it's oh, not okay. a big deal. A little bit of a big deal, yeah. a little bit. That's why we're so excited to talk yeah. and to learn from how you did it. Cause it was not easy. Yeah, go check it out. You guys can learn too. <laughs> Please tell me what game I should play. Yeah, that too. Please Thank help you. her. Help me, <laughs> I, I need it. When I first moved to the city, I was super scared, obviously, with all these people. But my cousin grew up around here. And my first day on my own to the city to go to college, he took me to Palm Springs. It's a little hole in the wall place that makes golden french fries and has like a million sauces. We're both broke. And french fries with sauce was for lunch. I don't know, for some reason that moment stuck out to me. This was like the first time I felt like I would be okay here and not die and uh, be able to handle myself in a scary city by myself. So this is the first time going back in like years. It's just nice seeing people now. Feels like things are normal, which is nice. I miss it. I miss it and I don't miss it. Miss hanging out here. I do not miss living and working here. Just the energy is nice. It was good while I was getting my start, but now I just, I'm just tired. <laughs> Okay, I got a poutine, but Bobby's pouring the gravy on. The way that they make this is real poutine. It's got Canadian cheese curds on top that melted. Now it's like, usually there are little curds on top, but it melted from the drive. And then you put gravy on it. It sounds weird, but it's delicious. Right, bud? Yes. <laughs> so I'm both proud of this and not proud of this. Uh, we ate the entire thing. <laughs> the entire poutine is gone. Mel, you got some poutine, right? I know, you're not used to the vlog camera. Wait, the poutine yummy? <laughs> yeah. Also, if you notice, I'm immediately in sweats. Not matching sweats. This is my life. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go feed Mel something a bit more nutritious than a couple pieces of french fry. And then I'll check in with you guys. I'm like, I came and tried to explain to Bobby how the interview went. And I was like, I don't know. I think I kind of like blacked out while I was talking. I may have looked really nervous. I was. Also, this is filled with another order of fries 
from Palm Streets, but it's not a poutine. There's no gravy or cheese on it this time. They're just regular fries. And that's what you use with these sauces. I don't know which is which, but one is black truffle mayo. One is roasted garlic mayo. And one is Vietnamese pineapple. I don't know, the guy said it was good. Are you into camera? Here. Oh. <laughs> no, you got food on your face. What'd you have for lunch? Oatmeal and blackberry and some fry pieces. For the first time, that was your first french fry, I just realized. Your first fry. But that was okay, because it's fresh cut and made. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll play with you. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm talking a bit lower because Melody's down for her second nap. Second and last nap. She's been doing two naps. For anybody who doesn't know, she's about nine and a half months right now. Most days she does two naps. They can range from an hour and a half to 30 minutes to two hours. But for the most part, it's usually about an hour and a half. Today is a weird day. Today is not like my normal day. Thursday and Fridays are my non-work days. I try to do as much house stuff, hanging out with Melody, hanging out with Bobby, making personal appointments, like doctor's appointments and stuff. But today I had the Forbes thing. I'm so tired from waking up at 5.30. <laughs> so Melody's napping and usually when that happens, I caught you before you could do it. It's very rare of me to be sitting on the couch when Melody naps. Usually when Melody naps, I try to get some work done. I try to get some stuff around the house done, but I am tired. Every time I go to the city, it wipes me out. Even, even just being there for like a couple hours. Wipes me out. I was up early. So I think Bobby and I are gonna watch some more Vox Machina, which we got really into, so and actually relax and celebrate slash be excited for the fact that I got interviewed by Forbes today, which is insane. I don't think I've taken a second to like let it soak in that I went to Forbes to be interviewed about my business. And still, I keep replaying the interview in my head. I'm like, I, I should have said this. I wonder if I said this weird. Did I ramble too much? But it's all in the past now. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> So yeah, gonna relax, watch some stuff, hope that Melody at least takes an hour-ish nap so that I can rest a little bit before she wakes up and we're gonna play again. And yeah, we'll see where we're at in a little while. Exciting stuff, I know. See, this is why I don't daily vlog because most of my life lately has been home, doing what I was just doing, playing with the baby, or uh, doing YouTube work, which is just me on the computer or filming videos. That's it. Today was the most exciting day in a while where I went to the city. <laughs> Who's up from her nap? Right. Oh! <laughs> She's still in her <laughs> sleep blanket. Yeah. You're just hanging out. Aw. Oh, you you cuckoo. My dinner actually looks really healthy. I think it's because of all the french fries I had for lunch, basically. Uh, but it's like a salmon burger fish cake thing with some tomatoes I cut up and some chickpeas on the side. I am usually, oh, and that's a uh, aioli and a glass of wine. <laughs> that's it. It's nine o'clock. Put my little bed around 8.30. I'm eating dinner at nine o'clock, which is usually not what I do, but the, the french fries messed me up. What are you doing? That looks terrible. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I took my eyelashes off. No. You're making me look Oh, ew, no. He. <laughs> yeah, there's the Mel's over there. The Mel's? Oh. The Mel's. The Mel Mel's. She's over there. By the way, that's the playpen that I was in earlier with her. Yeah, I don't know if I did a good job vlogging today. I feel like I didn't. Probably. Thanks. <laughs> it was mainly the Forbes stuff. I was just really excited about that because I would have never thought that I would be invited to Forbes to talk about myself. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Crazy. Crazy. Congrats. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers. The challenge was to try and be a daily vlogger for a day, and I did that. You did it. Did I do it well? Yes. Who knows? <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, then I must have done it well, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't, because otherwise, why are you still watching this video? If you don't like me enough to subscribe, it's free. But yeah, I want to thank everybody at Forbes. Can't wait to see the interview, which will be live once this is live, so you can go watch it right now. But yeah. It's kind of surreal. I don't think it's sunk in yet that I went to Forbes today, did an interview. 
Crazy. If you like this style of content um, where you learn more about me, I also was thinking of doing, I tried to daily vlog for a week, being that we don't do enough in a, in a day now with the baby right, <laughs> right now um, to warrant a video per day. But I was thinking if I did it like every day for a week and then compiled it into one video, it might be kind of funny, especially if I show all the times I forgot to vlog. But yeah, so I think we're gonna finish South Park and then start going with Vox Machina again. Anything you wanna say? Good night. Oh. <laughs> I hope you're watching this at night. Yeah, watching. I was gonna say wait, yeah, they could be watching it at any time. Have a good night, and if you're not watching this at night, then have then later have a good night. <laughs> oh my god. This is why I don't vlog. <laughs> Bye.